Consider the reaction of 22.3 grams of silicon with 35.9 grams of nitrogen to form silicon nitride. How many grams of silicon nitride are formed? And for the reactant in excess, how many grams are left over at the end of the reaction? So in this case, since we are given an amount for SI, we have 22.3, and an amount for N2, we have 35.9, this is gonna be a limiting reactant problem. We have to figure out which one of these things is gonna run out first when we do this reaction. So first, ask the question, if the silicon were to react completely with the nitrogen, how many grams of nitrogen would be required? Now, I could have done this the other way around. I could have asked if nitrogen were to react completely with the silicon, how many grams of silicon would be required? It doesn't matter. You just have to pick one and react it with the other just to see what happens. So in this case, I'm gonna react the SI with the N2 and I'm gonna see how many grams of nitrogen I would need. If I get something that is less than 35.9, then I know I'm gonna run out of the silicon first. If I get something that's more than 35.9, that means I'm gonna run out of the nitrogen first. So let's do this. Uh, in order to calculate this though, I first needed to calculate some molar masses. And for that, I'm gonna need nitrogen and silicon, so uh, in this case, I am interested in, well, I'm going to be interested in all three eventually. So let's calculate all three molar masses. So let's see, I'll do this right here. So how about SI first? That's easy. I don't have to really calculate anything. For uh, SI, it's just 28.086. And that's going to be grams per mole. Next, I have nitrogen, N2. Nitrogen is a genuine diatomic, it ends in gen. That's why it's N2, not just N. So that's going to be two times 14.007, and that's grams per mole. And so if you calculate that, you end up getting 28.014. Grams per mole. Okay, and last we have SI3N4. So that's going to be SI3N4. Oops, let me put a colon here. So that's going to be uh, 3 times 28.086 grams per mole plus four times 14.007 grams per mole. And if you do that on a calculator, you end up getting 140.286 grams per mole. So now I'm ready to react SI completely with N2. So since I have 22.3 grams of silicon, 22.3 grams of SI, and I'm gonna set up the train tracks here. Okay, and I wanna react that with the nitrogen just to see whether the nitrogen runs out first or the silicon runs out first. So if I want to figure out how much nitrogen I'm gonna have, I'm gonna to have to eventually convert from SI to N2, which means I'm gonna to have to first convert to moles, and that's what the molar mass is for. So 28.086 is gonna go downstairs because I want the grams to cancel. 28.086 grams of SI, and that's equivalent to one mole of SI that goes up top. Now that I have moles of SI, I can use the equation. Three moles of SI corresponds to two moles of N2. So I'll put the moles of silicon down here, three moles of SI, and then we have moles of nitrogen up here, two moles of N2. 
And now I want to go back to grams. So I'm going to use the 28.014. That's going to go upstairs now. 28.014 grams of nitrogen is equivalent to one mole of nitrogen. And now I think I'm set. Let's make sure that everything cancels here. So grams of SI, grams of SI, moles of SI, moles of SI, moles of N2, moles of N2, and I'm left with grams of N2, that's what I want. And so if you do this on a calculator, you end up getting 14.8286 grams of nitrogen. And all I did was I just multiplied 22.3 times two times 28.014 divided by 28.086 times three. And that's how I got this. Okay, 14.8286 grams of nitrogen. That's how much nitrogen I need to react completely with the silicon. I have 35.9 grams of nitrogen. I have more than enough nitrogen. Nitrogen is not the limiting reactant. In this case, silicon must be the limiting reactant. So in this case, SI is limiting. So what that means is, now I can go ahead and answer the question, how many grams of silicon nitride are formed, and I'm going to use the 22.3 grams of silicon to determine that, because that's the limiting factor. If it had turned out that nitrogen was limiting, then I would have used the 35.9 grams to figure out how many grams of Si3 and 4 are formed. But in this case, I'm going to start with the 22.3 grams of Silicon. Okay. And now this is just a regular stoichiometry problem like before, so I'm going to calculate uh, how many grams of Si3N4 are formed. Since I have to convert from one substance to another, I need to first go from grams to moles, so this is going to look, at the beginning at least, almost identical to what we had for the first calculation. And now that I have moles of silicon, I'm going to want to convert to moles of silicon nitride. So three moles of SI corresponds to one mole. There's a one right here. One mole, oops, mole of SI3N4. Now I have moles of silicon nitride, I want grams of silicon nitride, that's where I use the molar mass. And grams are going to go upstairs, so 140.286 grams of silicon nitride. And that's going to be over one mole of silicon nitride. Oops, SI3 and 4. Great. Let's make sure everything cancels. So grams of silicon cancels with grams of silicon, moles of silicon cancels with moles of silicon, moles of silicon nitride cancels with moles of silicon nitride, and I'm left with grams of silicon nitride. That's what I want. So if you do this on a calculator, you end up getting 37.1286. And that's grams of silicon nitride. And since we should probably keep track of sig figs, I have three significant figures in each of the numbers up here. So you probably would want to write this as 37.1 grams of silicon nitride. Okay, now for part B, for the reactant in excess, how many grams are left over at the end of the reaction? What was in excess? That was the nitrogen. Nitrogen, N2, uh, is in excess. We had more than enough of it. It was not the limiting reactant. Okay, and if you remember before when we were going to react the silicon with the nitrogen, we needed for the reaction to go all the way to completion with the, uh, the silicon, we needed 14.8286. And we have 35.9. So
So uh, to figure out how much is left over, take what we started with, the 35.9, and subtract out the part that we used, the 14.8286. So that'll be 35.9 grams of nitrogen minus 14, and I'll just make this 0 0.8 grams of nitrogen. And that leaves us with 21.1 .1 grams of nitrogen left over.